Hello, Dr. Russ here. A little bit of a different flavor of video today. I'm going to do a voiceover while Kate does an abdominal massage. And um, I hope you enjoy it. We enjoyed doing it. And thanks, as always, for watching. And if you want to help the channel grow, uh, share the video, like and subscribe to our channel. Um, if you'd like to purchase supplements, you can do so from our Phil Script Dispensary. Uh, we get a little cut and it helps us keep doing what we're doing, which we're enjoying so much. Thanks as always for watching. Your feedback and comments are welcome. Here's the video. Well, let's settle in and watch Kate work. She's starting by giving the patient some time to get used to having their abdomen touched. It's not at all deep. It's not really specific work. It's skin level and superficial fascia right around the belly button. So this patient is facing up. Um, the red blanket is over her chest and the brown sheet is over her pelvis. So her head is at the right end of your screen. And if you're new to this channel, I welcome you and always like hearing from folks who watch the videos encourage you to subscribe and like and things like that we have lots of treatment demos i talk about the business of body work on the channel we've got exercise videos and try and upload every week so it looks like kate is working a little bit more deeply now in the center of the abdomen and what's mostly taking up space there is the small intestine and uh, it's very um, a lot of variability from person to person, the shape of their abdomen, how much superficial fascia there is, how much of that fascia is fat or adipose tissue. It really doesn't matter. This kind of work is still effective. As Kate takes a moment to get a little more lotion on her hands, she's always working really hard to make sure that her clients are comfortable and she has a nice glide. We're looking at her from the right now. Her head is at the left side of your screen. And Kate is gonna do some work now toward the left as her right hand kind of sweeps. It's hitting the iliacus muscle there a little bit and the fascia over that muscle. Such an important hip flexor and stabilizer of the pelvis. Another thing that's in that neighborhood is the ileocecal valve. That valve is between the large intestine and the small intestine, and it keeps the contents of the large intestine from refluxing back into the small intestine, which is important. And she's working her way up now along the area where the ascending colon is. So this is a time where we could sort of pause and think about like, well, what actually is happening when we do this work? Are we moving the organs? Most definitely we're moving the organs in relation to each other, in relation to the body wall, in relation to the abdominal musculature. We're also moving that abdominal musculature. We're giving a massage to the abdominal musculature and we're moving, as always, I'm so uh, interested in emphasizing the movement of the fascia. So as the patient here is facing up and um, Kate is working higher and higher up and she's kind of sweeping on that iliacus and coming up almost to the rib cage, which is right here. And she's going to be working her way up toward that upper right quadrant of the abdomen, which contains the liver and the gallbladder. So even though there is a lot of variability from person to person about what's where, it's really impossible to say exactly where anything is, but we know for sure that tucked up under the right rib cage is going to be the liver, and tucked up under the liver is going to be the gallbladder. The exact orientation and positioning of that gallbladder, I don't think you can say without some advanced imaging, but it's really not important when it comes to the work that we're doing. Uh, it's not surgery. We don't need to know exactly where anything is. Um, we just kind of need to know generals and we need to know our contraindications and how to be gentle. So Kate now is working the lower margin of the right rib cage, that finger sweep, thumb sweep, 
She's getting a little bit up under the ribs to where the liver and the gallbladder would be. The liver also does cross the midline and there's a pretty nice little chunk of liver that's on your left side as well. Liver is just an enormous, enormous organ. Also getting some nice mobility of the fascia overlying the ribs, something that I'm working on all the time. Here's a really nice mobilization of that right upper quadrant. See her right fingertips are poking up under the ribs a little bit, not so much as to hurt at all. And then with her left hand, she's creating a little mobilization of those lower ribs. So what's moving here? The skin, the superficial fascia, the latissimus and the serratus anterior muscles, all of the intercostal muscles, the diaphragm, all of the ligaments that suspend the liver from the diaphragm, the liver itself, the gallbladder itself, and all of the ducts that are associated with those two organs. And it's a gentle, gentle technique. One thing I really love about working with Kate is that she can be deep and gentle. I used to think that I didn't like deep work, uh, and then I started working with Kate, and I felt like, oh, deep work doesn't have to be super pokey and aggressive. It can be really nice and gentle. So here she's kind of giving the patient some soothing stimulation after that deeper work to mobilize the right upper quadrant. And it's nice to see our providers taking their time and the patient takes a nice breath. So it's nice to give your patient a break from intense touch during a session. Kate and I started working together eight years ago, which is amazing. By far the longest lasting employee. Um, I went to see her after I had overheard uh, the front desk people at the spa just raving about her touch and her presence. So I thought I'd give it a, give it a shot. And uh, yeah, I actually don't know that <laughs> I've had a massage from anyone else over the past eight years. Okay, um, Kate and I work really well together. So we're looking up now and Kate's gonna do some similar work on the patient's left upper quadrant. You can see she's warming up the tissues that attach to the lower margin of the rib cage on the left side. Other than Kate, uh, at eight years, um, the next longest employee I ever had was Kelsey. Shout out Kelsey at three and a half years. Um, Kelsey and I worked real well together and uh, I'll put in a little plug for her website, uh, Squirm. You'll find them on Instagram. It is an awesome sex education program and website that she started with her friend Tessa, who also is my friend and used to work with us. And um, I recommend you check it out if you're looking for any sexual education. Looks like Kate is moving down now a little more along the descending colon. I always learned that it's nice to work the abdomen in the direction of peristalsis, which would be up the right side, down the left side. There's, we really only want stuff to flow in one direction, from the mouth all the way down through the stomach, small and large intestine, and then the anus. It's a good time to kind of take a survey of all the valves that exist in your digestive tract to keep things flowing one way, starting from the top. And where she's working now, she's getting a little bit deeper and you can see the patient's having a little more of a deep breath. And here we go with a deep left upper quadrant mobilization. Same kind of technique. And you can see Kate's left hand that's holding under the ribs is allowing for some movement. It's not pokey. It's really just a nice gentle rocking. So at the top of the stomach where the esophagus meets the stomach is the cardiac valve or cardiac sphincter that keeps the very acidic contents of your stomach from refluxing up into your esophagus where that acid will do a lot of damage. A lot of people have dysfunction of that sphincter and this type of work can be really helpful for that. At the other end of the stomach is the pyloric valve. That is not so much to prevent reflux as it is to prevent the stuff in the stomach from squooshing out while the stomach is churning it and trying to digest it for you. The stomach is like a really muscular bag and it contracts and relaxes 
almost like your hands if you're kneading dough. And you can imagine if there wasn't a really strong valve at the outside and the top of the stomach, then every contraction would just squirt that acidic stomach content up into your esophagus and out into your intestine. And we don't want that. Kate's doing some more nice, gentle work here. Giving our patient a little bit of a break. It looks like she is actually wrapping up. So this is an edited version of an abdominal massage. Uh, a session could be 60 minutes or even 90 minutes, and you could imagine how deep and how many different things could be done. And our patient is smiling. She's happy. She feels really good because uh, some of this stuff can be intense, but mostly it just feels really good. As always, thanks for watching. I hope you have enjoyed our brief 10-minute video on Chinate Song and abdominal massage and learned a little about our fabulous Kate Green, who we love and love to work with. Um, please, as always, feedback, comments, and uh, if you like to support the channel, we appreciate that. Dr. Russ out.